Hello all, welcome to a new episode of GitHub Copilot. Today's episode, we focus on Jupyter Notebook, the ID used by many of the machine learning engineers for developing various ML models. How Copilot can help you in achieving the different tasks related to Jupyter Notebook. We are using the Jupyter Notebook extension as part of VS Code. So let us move to the code editor to explore the copilot. I'm in VS Code. The Jupyter Notebook is enabled already here. So going to the chat session, let us start with generation of a brand new Jupyter Notebook. My requirement is a new notebook. So as you can see that copilot provides the slash commands there is a new notebook option is available which you can use for getting the notebook available so i need a new jupyter notebook so i am asking create a new notebook for what what's the purpose of this notebook for sentiment analysis so everyone knows so how we do the sentiment analysis of various feedbacks or statements kind of thing so let me take some five sample feedback received from some conferences or sessions. Once the sample is added, let us float the sentiment of the feedback into a chart. So this is my requirement. I need a notebook with all these details and sentiment analysis and add some sample feedbacks and float the sentiment of that feedback. So the copilot, copilot came with the suggestions, especially the different steps required for achieving this one. There are four steps it's mentioned. So I'm just clicking on create the notebook. The first one is importing the required libraries, then define the sample feedbacks. It can be read from an external CSV file or a feedback source altogether. Here I'm defining hard-coded feedback for the sample and perform the sentiment analysis at the end, visualize it. So the complete notebook is available right now here. So you can start running the notebook. As those familiar with the Jupyter Notebook, we have the run option as part of each of the sections. So start with importing the libraries. I need to go with a Python environment for this purpose right now. So I'm planning to import the libraries using a Python server kind of setup. I have selected that and the importing is done. Let me run the next code snippet that is defining the sample feedback. Now let us go and do the performance analysis, sorry, sentiment analysis. So it's done already. And you can see some of them are positive, some of them are negative. Maybe it's um, not as I expected, delivery late and product bars damaged. Some of the feedbacks are negative, so it came as negative sentiment. So let us float it. Yeah. It looks great. There are two negative and the remaining is a positive feedback scheme. This is the initial generation of a Jupyter notebook with the help of GitHub Copilot chat. Once we have this one, we may need to add more sections or you need to deal with the more inputs elements. So for that purpose, you can start prompting here itself, just like any other things. You can use the command based or prompt based approach. As you can observe here, there is a prompt already came, harsh display the average sentiment. So this is what the next statement, if you want this code snippet, select that one using a tab and enter. You have the details, the average calculation. Once it's available, let us go to print the average. So this is what it's doing. So you can perform the code completion aspect in the Jupyter Notebook with the help of Copilot. Apart from that, you may be observing there is a sparkles are available here. The sparkle icons will help you to open the inline Copilot chat. So you can open this one and ask Copilot to define something. So let me float the sentiment 
in a different diagram maybe right now we use the bar chart in a column chart so this is what I needed I can go ahead and ask the details so it's going to give me the details there is a different chart format is required it's uh, provided this data either I can go ahead and accept or discard it now I don't need this one so I, I'm not going to accept this one instead of that let me see whether this inline chart have the history also if I go up and down arrows, you can see that it's have the complete chart history. How to optimize? This is what I need to look at. So it's looking at the code optimization aspects. It's provided some of the steps for optimization. You can go ahead and explore further how the inline chat is working. So for invoking this one, you just click on the sparkle icons to invoke the inline chat. This is one anchor and the second one let us go back to this one you can see that average sentiment is came here over there you can see there is a options are coming so instead of average sentiment let us see something else so display you can see average sentiment is the only option provided let me see display the the corresponding data frame let me go with that one display the data frame so it's directly went to print or let us see i need multiple suggestions to show you the um, result display the average and sum of sentiment scores so it's going to give some options you can see there are multiple options right now so hovering is also working just like inline chart you can hover and see multiple options available suggestions from copilot itself right now there are two suggestions and if you want to view this one always you go ahead and select always show toolbar just click on this one this will be available there is no need to hover and get it it will disappear kind of issues you can just go ahead and accept this way so i want to accept word by word you can see that i whenever i click on this one it's accepting one word at a time so, or you can go ahead and accept the entire line or the complete suggestion altogether so once it's done let us see the next one you can see automatically the hover menu is coming because we enable always show toolbar option so whenever there is a copilot suggestion the hover uh, menu or the menu which appear normally over hover will appear always that will provide the options suggestions multiple available and the options for accepting partially or fully the suggestions you can go ahead and accept based on your requirements so two aspects are working fine or three aspects one is the code completion or the code generation using the prompt and using the sparkle icon invocation of inline chat and the hovering option which can be stick together or you can ensure that it's appear always or you can get it on hover of the suggestions three options are working fine just like any other code editor in the jupyter notebook as well now let us see whether the copilot chat is going to help us with any of these aspects so i am going to select one of the code here and going with the context menu checking so we have the copilot context menu here right click copilot let me go ahead and ask for explain this this open on the chat itself so the explanation is displayed so your context menu is working that open the chart discussions and you can directly get the chat information here so it's working fine this context menu aspect let me select a code and ask copilot whether it's able to detect the selected code from the notebook and given response explain the selected code 
so it's looking for the id or the notebook and getting the details and able to explain it so it's just like the normal id behavior you have the code completion as part of the prompt engineering and you have the inline chart with the sparkle icons you have the hover options to accept partially or fully the suggestions or verify multiple suggestions availability and the context menu which can invoke the explain different shortcuts and the actual chat window itself it's working perfectly fine but if you are looking for opening the copilot menu that is what we do normally in the so here I need to open you have three suggestions available here so let me see multiple suggestion normally we go for opening the copilot window that will not work here the option for invoking the window that is um, command dot in Mac that is not available remember that the remaining all the functionalities of copilot is available as part of your notebook you can utilize copilot to define a brand new or a existing dealing with the existing jupyter notebook only thing is you need to integrate the jupyter notebook with the supported ids like vs code or intellij or visual studio thank you